Welcome to Every Way Woman. So there is a cost to everything, including the price tag on self-worth. I want to talk about what it is and what it's doing to our children and women out there. Stacy, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you. What, I was looking at you so I can kind of go by this. Specifically, uh, you are a woman who I look up to because I feel like you, you really truly understand your self worth. Thank you. Susan. And what does that look like? You know, I evolved. I want to be honest with you, I evolved. The Stacy that you see today is not the Stacy that was there before, and that will happen with all of us here. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I had to do um, was I had to be honest with who I am and be comfortable with what I bring to the table and stop trying to represent something that I was not. What do you mean, be honest with who you were? What well, is that moment? Okay, so for so long, because of my molestation, I really put a wall in front of me. And so what I did was I insulated myself to be the best at everything, be the cheerleader captain, so I was never in a vulnerable position. But yeah. you can only be a farce like that for so long. Well, and that's interesting because I think myself included and our children, we're looking to other women in the media in particular, right. and we're getting false impressions of who they really are. And I'm assessing my self-worth accordingly. I can only imagine what that's doing to a 12-year-old child. Well, learning self-worth and discovering what my own self-worth is, like Stacy said, is evolving. But what I'm starting to learn now that I have children mm -hmm. and they're growing and, and I'm learning things about them is that I'm learning that your child, my children at least, are teaching me their self-worth and how I can show them what it is. It isn't always mm. what I think it is. Well, how, how are they teaching be. you? What are I they doing? That. Well, it's like with, with my, um, you know, sometimes when you have kids, it's not always uh, like, oh, they're my baby and everything's wonderful and great. You have personality conflicts. Absolutely. And you don't always <laughs> like each other all the time. And I get an right? amen. That's right. Right. I, love my amen. Kids. I love my kids. I love them, I but there love are them. days when I'm right? like, right? You're like, who are out. you? And did you come out of me? Right. <laughs> so, right. But it's also that what I was learning was is that my daughter, when, when she gets to be the boss, she feels like she has a lot of self-worth. Mm -hmm. And she started asking me as soon as she could talk, those were the, one of the first questions that came out of her mouth. If I had to go somewhere, she wanted to know, who's the boss of me, mommy? Right. Right? And I would say, well, you're the boss of you. And, that, and I started telling her she's the boss of her. When I ran into a problem because then babysitters came along. <laughs> yeah, and then she was like, I, I am the boss, boss of me. Boss. You are not telling me what to do. I am the boss. But you know, Madison <laughs> makes an excellent quite, uh, statement. And I think as parents, we have to know that we are the first teacher of self-value and self-worth. And I think what's happening now is because, as Madison said earlier, parents are outside of the home. We're surviving. We're feeling guilty. So instead of spending that time, we're buying them things. But we have we're to take time. What? Whatever they ask for. Can I have quick fixes? P you know, can PS3, candy, twos, iPhones, cars. As opposed to saying and instilling value and truth in them and teaching. I'm teaching my daughter. I have a 17 year old and a 15 year old. And I tell my babies all the time I need you to be true to yourself. I'll give you a quick example. Mm -hmm. My daughters like to wear their hair natural. Mm -hmm. I was mortified that they wanted to wear their hair natural. You know why? 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 Because I was afraid of what people were going to say about me. Really? What people were going to say about me allowing my daughters to have natural hair. What would they that, say? Because that's just not the way a young lady should look. And for a minute, I bought into that notion. And I had to snap out of it and say, hey, these are two very beautiful young ladies. And so, and what they did was they wore it in an environment that didn't necessarily accept natural hair. Mm -hmm. That's why I was uncomfortable. Not because of them, because they wore the natural proud, but because what people would say about me. We gotta change that. It has to be. And I was proud that they were confident to do that. We instilled they are, something in yeah, them. Yeah, right. that was a beautiful and lesson for you, your children to teach and you. And for me. And it's mm -hmm. self worth. And I think so, and it's different for each child. Right. Right. What right. each child's self worth is. So when it comes to like the women in the media now that aren't real and that and you start comparing yourselves to these airbrushed they, remember, do you guys remember the you, there was a video that went out about a woman and they took a picture of her made her plain and then they started doing all of these things to her and by the end she looked like she was a 16 year old vogue model mm -hmm. of course okay so that's not realistic what they're putting out there but i think if if we uh, if we start to understand who our people our people are mm -hmm and we get to understand what their personalities are and how they feel loved and how they feel self-worth and we teach them on their level at right. their terms, Seriously. then it doesn't matter. But there's a point about teaching the young, but I think there's something to be said about 
reteaching ourselves. Absolutely. I used to be so much more fearless and I believed in myself so much more to be completely candid. And then I got to this quarter life crisis, whether it be, you know, when you're 25 or 42 and all of a sudden that empowerment and that worth you carried so proudly through your parents and through these lessons right. when you were a child has withered away and, and you've become that to cheated. You, the society has done that to you because what we what we've subconsciously told you was that you're not enough because you don't have this or you haven't acquired that and self-worth comes from the inside out so I just don't know how to get it back well if I can tell you what you have to do is you have to decide what Jeslyn wants and it may not look like what Madison right. I agree with but you have to be okay with but it. that and that really does surprise me because you know I, the way that I see you I see you as someone who's extremely self-confident and beautiful someone, yeah and beautiful <laughs> you have all these great uh, attributes about you that Absolutely. I'm really shocked by that and mm -hmm. sometimes self-worth is not you know we, we think for it to be that it's external but really self-worth starts here and it comes out let it shine ladies we'll be right back with more every way woman stay tuned that was